Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Brainwave, an English language competition game made possible through the collaboration of Mongolian National Broadcasting, as well as Mongolia's first private school hobby school. Listening, reading, speaking, and writing. Today we have 10 amazing and the finest students that we have in Mongolia from School 51 as well as School 6. So let's bring them out. Greetings from X Project. Wow, that was incredible. How long did that take to practice and get that it's purple? It's two days. I'm not the dancer, so that would have taken me all year. So. <laughs> Got my ticket for the love around Two bottle whiskey far away And the shovel lies found sweet company And I'm living tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone, when I'm gone You're gonna miss me when I'm gone You're gonna miss me by my walk You're gonna miss me by my talk, though You're gonna miss me when I'm gone When I'm gone when I'm gone, oh. you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss me by my talk. Oh, you're, you're gonna, gonna miss, miss me when I'm gone. gone. Wow. So my question is, how long did it take to get this down? Um, two days. Two days. Can you show me again how it works? Uh, great job, guys. That was very impressive. Thank you. Okay, so let me just outline what we're going to do today again. So we are going to go over the four core skills of the English language as you compete head-to-head -to, -head to show what school and what students truly have mastered the English language. Um, we have here today our judge, Mr. Mason Lee, over here, if you want to take a look. He is our in-house English expert, and he'll, he will be looking very closely at what you say, as well as what you write, and what you listen for. So be ready, and be ready to impress him, okay? All right, so once again, I am Stephen Parrott, and I'm your host today, and I'm very excited to get started. Are you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. All right, so first, we are going to start with an activity that involves your ears. Which activity is that? Can someone listening. say listening? Yes, listening. Very good. So in this listening activity, you are, of course, going to listen. But you're going to be doing more than that. I will read off 10 words only once, OK? So make sure you listen. You will pay attention and listen for each word. After I am finished reading the 10 words, 
you will look through a collection of balls with words taped on them. Okay? Got me so far? All right. From those balls, you will select the 10 that match the words I said. Okay? You will have one minute to complete this task. Once the one minute mark is up, your hands will go up and we'll begin judging. Okay? Do you think you can do this? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Your ears open and ready to go. All right. Major. Arctic. Ocean. Surface. Archaeologist. Amazing. Instantly. Magnetic. Sight. And finally, volcanic. One minute on the clock to choose the 10 words that I said earlier. Are you ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Oh, range, mayor. Oh, no, range. This is range. Okay, 10 seconds left. Can I have you on your countdown for 10? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, how about we put our 10 balls here, in this little part right here. Okay. We will start with Team X Project. Who would like to read off what we have here? Okay, great. Surface. Measure. Measure. Atlantic. Atlantic. Amazing. Amazing. Magnetic. Magnetic. Ocean. Ocean. Arctic. Arctic. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. Sorry. Volcano. Volcano. Instantly. Instantly. Sight. And sight. And sight. And sight. Last okay, one. we have 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Oh, we have two. Okay, so I would get rid of one. Oh, Choose one. Wait a moment. Archidoli, we have a What can I Three, two, one. Okay, we're good. We got rid of one. Okay. All right. Mr. Lee, we got rid of, rid of Atlantic. Okay. So if you could mark that off your list. Okay, remember, it is ten balls, correct? All right. So who do we have reading for us today? Okay, loud and clear um, for us. So we've got archaeologist. Archaeologist. Sight. Sight. Ocean. Ocean. Arctic. Arctic. Amazing. Amazing. Major. Major. Volcano. Volcano. Surface. Surface. And instantly. And instantly. We got nine. You got nine. So we have one team with eleven and one team with nine. Okay, but that's okay. You have them marked down, Mr. Lee? Yes. Okay. All right, so both teams got seven correct words each, and then each team got one word correct that the other didn't. So both teams are tied at eight points. Eight point tie. Okay, that's what I like to see. The first, the best, hobby school. Now we're going to move on to yet another skill. This skill requires your eyes. Yes, reading. You know, looking at words and figuring out what they mean. So today, 
you're going to look on this big monitor that says brainwave, but not for long. And you're going to read a passage, a text, a bunch of words put together. And you're going to read it and think about it. And then afterwards, you will compete to answer a series of questions. OK, do you think you're up to the task? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. All right, let's see them. Yes, reading Earth's Oceans. Earth's Oceans. There are five major oceans that make up much of our planet. They are the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern and Arctic Oceans. Water covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. The Earth's oceans are all joined to each other. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. It covers 165 to 150 million square kilometer. It also has the deepest waters. The Mariana Trench is 11,034 meters deep and 2,550 kilometers long. The Pacific Ocean has very bad weather. Many powerful storms form out in the open ocean every year. There is also a lot of volcanic activity in this ocean. In the Pacific, there are many small volcanic islands such as Hawaii, Tonga, and Samoa. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. It covers an area of over 82 million square kilometers. Under the Atlantic Ocean lies a mountain range called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Indian Ocean is smaller than the Atlantic. It covers about 73 million square kilometers. It usually has gentle breezes. However, from the months of April to October, monsoons form over the ocean. They carry a lot of rain into India that causes terrible floods. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest ocean. It covers an area of more than 20 million square kilometers. It's a very cold ocean because it's near Antarctic and much of it's covered in ice. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest of all five oceans. It covers about 14 million square kilometers. It isn't as deep as the other oceans. It's one of the coldest oceans. Ice covers the central part of the ocean all year round. Five, four, three, two, one, and turn your eyes away. <laughs> now that you read the passage, the text, you are going to be required to answer some questions. Now, you will wait for me to read the question as well as the different answers. After I finish the last answer, letter D, then one of you will smack the light, right? First one to do so gets to answer, OK? All right, wait till I finish. Let's look at the first question. Which oceans are covered in ice? A, the Indian and Atlantic Ocean. B, Pacific and Marina Trench. C, the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean, or D, the Southern and Arctic Ocean? All right, X Project, what did you answer? The answer is C. C, Atlantic, Atlantic and, and Paci Pacific Ocean. Uh, yes. Mr. Judge, sir. That is incorrect. Oh, all right. That means you will now get a chance yeah. to give the answer. What do you have? D. D. Southern and Arctic Ocean. Ocean. She's right. D is the right answer. Woo! Wonderful work. Wonderful work. All right. Let's take a look at the next question. Now you know what to do, right? OK. In which ocean can we find volcanoes? A, the Indian Ocean. B, the Pacific, C, the Atlantic, or D, the Arctic Ocean? Yes, yes Limitless. The answer is B, Pacific Ocean. Pacific B, the Ocean. Pacific Ocean? Ocean? Correct again. Our next question. What is the, mm, 
What is the deepest area of the Pacific Ocean called? Is it A, the Marianne Trench? B, the Nero Trench? Three, the Atlantic Trench? Or D, the Arctic Trench? Limitless? And the answer was A. A, the Mariana Trench, is that correct, sir? All right, limitless. Last question. In which ocean is Hawaii? A, Atlantic Ocean? B, Pacific Ocean? C, Arctic Ocean? Or D, the Southern Ocean? X Project, by the slightest second. Uh, the correct answer is the Atlantic Ocean. A, the Atlantic Ocean? It is not the Atlantic not Ocean. Not the Atlantic Ocean. Limitless. The answer, the answer is, is B. B. Yes. B, Pacific Ocean? Oh. Wow. So Team Limitless swept this game uh, with four correct answers. They get eight points. Uh, unfortunately, X Project uh, didn't get any correct answers. Um, so the score is currently 16 points for Team Limitless and eight points for Team X Project. Okay. Okay. So 16 points for Team Limitless, eight points for X Project. That's okay, X Project. You have two more rounds to go. You can still catch up. All right? Next up, we are going to do something that you use your mouths for. Speaking. Yeah, speaking. speaking. Very good. So what you will do is you will pick a slip of paper, and you'll get them soon. You'll get a slip of paper with a sentence on it. This sentence is a topic. You will take one minute to prepare as a team, and then one of you will come up to the center here where I usually stand, and give a short speech, a short response about that topic. Now, Mr. Lee, what will you be judging them on? Uh, they will be judged on how relevant they uh, answer the topic. Um, they will also be judged on their fluency in English, as well as their confidence in English. Okay, so. Relevancy. You guys know relevancy? Okay, so are you on topic? So if you were talking about baking, don't talk about making an omelet, right? Talk about making a cake. Okay? Also, confidence. Do you feel good? Yeah. Yes, you're all confident for being here, right? Yeah. And what was that third topic, Mr. Lee? Fluency. Fluency. So how well can you spit out those English words? Does it sound good? Let's find out. All right, so, or am I? This one. <laughs> this one, okay. Yeah. Read it out loud to the audience, please. What do you do to pre prevent our environment from pollution? Good, what do you do to prevent our environment from pollution. So once again, they will get one minute on the clock. Ten, Five, four, three, two, one. Get on up there. All right, what was your topic again? What do you do to prevent our environment from pollution? And that's our, and our team um, uh, talked about it. And our answer is um, there is so many solutions to prevent our environment from pollution, but effective one is so, um, so little. So um, we can plant trees, every one of us can plant trees and we can decrease the um, smoke of the factory and cars and some ho homes 
Gir, Gir, Mongolian Girls, and are the and this is. Uh, I think that everybody should do some effort to uh, prevent our environment from pollution, and everybody ha ha have to, has to um, has to love our nature plan, and that's it. Wonderful job. Yeah, love the planet. That's a beautiful message. Beautiful message. Okay. All right, could you read it out loud to the audience for it? What is our question? In which way do people damage our planet? In which way do people damage our planet? Okay. Good luck. You have one minute on the clock. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, read the question one more time for us. In which way do people damage our planet? Our team has discussed and we came up with three subjects, three topics, uh, three ways. And the first way people damage our planet is recycling. People recycle a lot of things, plastics, papers, but people think is we're not damaging our planet, but we do. While damaging, there's a lot of chemistry, chemistry evolutions going on, and there's also air pollution for, for, our, for our planet. And the second one uh, way to damage our planet is, uh, is factories. Fact, there's each country has factories, and there's a lot of factories. There are shoes factories, they're making a new technologies, but it might be good for our development, but it's good for, I mean, it's bad for our planet. And the third reason why is uh, forestation. People cut a lot of trees, they, they destroy forests that animals live in. It's not only people damaging our planet, they're damaging our homes and homes for other animals. I think damaging our planet is a big issue for all over the world. Oh, beautiful. Very passionate, very passionate. How did that feel? I felt confident and I felt great. What an answer, okay, give a round of applause. So let's give Mr. Lee a few moments to get his scores together, unless he's ready. I'm ready. He's ready to go, okay. So let's hear some feedback from Mr. Lee. All right, so uh, all of you had great um, speeches prepared. Let's give you a round of applause. So <laughs> I felt that the best speaker was the first speaker from X Project. And who was that again? Ah, give her a round of applause. Very good job. Um, so each person had a total of 10 points that they could achieve. Uh, so out of so 10. 20 points total per team. Um, so X Project got 12 points, and Limitless received 11 points. All right, X Project, you won this round. All right, so we have one more round left. We did speaking, we did listening, we did reading. What's left? Writing, Writing that's right. <laughs> so what you will do is you will be given two envelopes, and I have them right here, two mysterious envelopes with a series of words in them. So there's different words in this envelope. Verbs, subjects, objects. What you will do is you will take out these words. See the envelopes? You'll take them out. And then you'll put them on your desk. And you will work as a team for exactly one minute. For exactly one minute. 
to write a sentence on the pieces of paper on your desks using not only the words in the envelope, but additional words such as articles. What are articles? The, A, and N. Conjunctions and any other grammar that you feel that you want to add. Now, the longest, the most complex, and the most correct sentence will come out as victorious, as our winner. Do you understand what we're doing? Okay. One envelope, two envelope, don't open it yet. Three, two, one, go! You see that you need to add other things to complete the sentence. Let's start with Team Limitless. Um, so we had uh, some bunch of words and um, uh, we made a um, compose uh, as uh, a husband used the glass, to, uh, glass window to show baby the traffic. Okay. All right. Well done. Well done. And I'll bring this over to our judge, Mr. Lee, for a closer inspection. Here you go, sir. All right. We have X Project. Firefighters, they helped the boss to build the pure letters. Okay. May I read it? Great. We'll bring this over to Mr. Lee. Our grammar expert of the day. So, uh, Team Limitless came up with the better sentence, in my opinion. Uh, they received six points out of 10. And Team X Project received four points out of 10. Now, now, before we get the final verdict or the final scores, any feedback that you could give, Mr. Lee, to each team about their sentences? Yeah, um, I felt as though uh, Team Limitless's sentence was um, mostly grammatically correct. There were a couple of mistakes, um, but the sentence itself didn't make uh, a lot of sense. Mm. So that is why they lost points there. Um, for Team X Project, they needed a few uh, articles, so A, N, and V, to help their sentence make uh, sentence or make sense grammatically. <laughs> um, and they also had the same problem where the sentence itself didn't make a lot of sense. So, right. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that's fair feedback? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so with 24 points, we have Team X Project. Very good job, X Project. Um, but our winners today is Team Limitless with 33 points. Woo! Limitless! You truly are limitless. The first, the best, Hobby School. Hobby School, the show that helped make this, well, the school that helped make this show possible, also the first private school in Mongolia, is giving you some brand new books hot off the press, some sweet hobby school swag for everyone here. So please enjoy, use it to take some English notes. And to Limitless, there you are, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, enjoy, Thank they're you, beautiful hobby. books. Yes, thank you, Hobby School. Our motto is to keep it limitless, together we progress. Thanks for watching. <laughs>